Hey, Jason from Bohemia Bees, and we're back in the shop today, and we're going to talk about something that most beekeepers know uh, very little about or don't hear much about, which is a slatted rack. What is a slatted rack? Hmm, it's another part to your hive that they didn't sell you? Let's dig in and we'll talk a little bit about what it is and what its benefits is to the, to the colony. Stay tuned. So, a slatted rack. What is a slatted rack? Well, you thought you bought every piece you needed. You just spent money on a new hive setup. And you've got your bottom board, you have your brood box, you might have some other hive bodies with frames in it for honey, uh, you have your top cover, and you have uh, an inner cover. So why do you need a slatted rack? Well, lots of reasons. This particular setup, we utilize the screen bottom board. And we're not going to get into this video on the differences or why we would use a screen bottom board over a solid. And in the beekeeping industry, there's a big debate about what works, what doesn't work. Uh, the purpose of a screen bottom board, just so you have reference, is that it allows the colony to uh, mitigate, to try to mitigate the mites or the volume of mites within a colony or the pests, such as the small hive beetle, by the use of a screen in the center or in the area of the bottom board. Instead of this being a solid bottom board, it has a wire mesh that allows the bees, as they groom the mites, to drop those mites through in, on the ground. Uh, or the uh, small hive beetles can be forced through this as well, out of the hive. Essentially, it allows the bees to patrol and keep their hive a little cleaner than if you had a solid bottom board. If you use a solid bottom board, you have uh, a benefit of keeping a little bit less airflow coming through, which we'll talk about, uh, but it does have a little bit of a disadvantage in that the bees cannot groom those pests off. They'd have to take them out the front door rather than pushing them through the screen to the ground. So it's a little bit more effort for the bees to do that, um, but there are some benefits and disadvantages. Again, I'm not here to debate the use of a screen bottom board versus a, a solid bottom board. We'll do that in another video. But in this video, we're going to talk about the slide and rack and how you use that in combination with the screen bottom board. So the screen bottom board, as we talked about for integrated pest management, is a strategy that beekeepers use. However, with that strategy, there are some disadvantages uh, if you have a, a different type of fluctuation of weather where you have hot, cold, you know, windy, cool days, uh, or just in general in your region, it's not a mild temperature year round. Uh, while the pest management part of this is important, the airflow management is also important within a colony. Uh, many people realize that bees are great at keeping the temperature consistent around the bee's nest. We talk about that uh, bee's cluster around a brood's nest is about 93 degrees. And it takes a lot of workforce of those bees to actually keep and heat that, that nest of, of brood that's gonna emerge out and be the next generation of bees. But in that, situ in that scenario, it also allows for, in the hot days of summer, the open bottom, in addition to that pest management, a little bit more airflow to come through and maybe cycle through the hive and giving less stress on those bees in those very hot days to help keep them to have to work as hard to keep the nest consistent at a temperature that actually is uh, required to keep that brood where it needs to be. It also helps with honey, right? So if you have honey production in the hive, a little bit of airflow helps that honey to cure uh, faster, which allows them to cap it all faster. Again, less work that they will need to do in a hive. So overall, the screen bottom board has its advantages, but with that airflow comes a slight disadvantage. Let's talk about that. Okay, so let's imagine that you have a brood box on top of your screen bottom board. And this is your frame. If you drop that frame into the brood box, you can see where it sits in, in relation to the screen bottom board. That screen bottom board, while giving good airflow and the, and the ability for them to, to mitigate pests through that integrated pest management screen board and push them through it, and, when they groom themselves and such. It also creates a slight disadvantage uh, on cooler days where the airflow could come up and actually impact the bottom of this frame. It also could impact the bottom of the frame and that light, more light could come through and impact the bottom of this frame. So what we see with the use of screen bottom boards, while it has 
lots of good advantages. Using this frame or using the frames right directly on the screen bottom board could mean that your queen will not lay as low due to the light factor and the wind and temperature factor. So in the scenario that you have that, you still wanna have the benefit of a screen bottom board. This is where a slatted rack comes in. The slatted rack is designed such so that if it's an eight frame or 10 frame box, Langstroh Hive, it's centering the slats where the frames will be. There's a front area too that's usually solid in most slatted racks. I've seen them without the front area, but in the ones that we sell on our website, we sell the ones with the front area. And that actually comes in to uh, benefit the hive in the wintertime, and we'll talk about that as well. This slatted rack will sit directly on that bottom board. And as you can see, it's about an inch or two away from the screen bottom board. Therefore, when you have your box and your frames, they're sitting about three inches, about two and a half to three inches away from that screen bottom board, still giving you the ability or giving the bees ability to groom those mites and drop them through the screen bottom board and allow them for that pest management. It also allows it for the, the wind flow to be blocked by that slat, as well as the light to be blocked for the most part so that the queen will lay lower on that frame. So that's the one main advantage of a slider rack or the use of a slider rack is that that queen can lay lower on the frames because of the wind block and the light block as well. But there's another advantage, and we talked a little bit about this front area where there's solid. Uh, as you can imagine, in the wintertime, you have uh, typically a southern facing hive. However, in some instances, your hive may not be exactly south facing, and in some instances, you might get a southerly wind that will come across uh, and blow into the front entrance of a hive. When that happens, where the, the brood frames are directly over that screen bottom or directly over that board, what ends up happening is, is that wind will whip right up and cup into the, to the actual frames in that brood's nest. Whereas having this slatted rack, it creates a barrier that allows the wind to be blocked and circulated back out, thus giving it somewhat of a blocked entrance to prevent that wind from coming directly up in on those frames, and it gives it place for that to have a dead air spot. So that's another benefit with the design of this slide rack to having the slats as well as that front piece. But there's another advantage to a slatted rack, and it has to do with the foragers. Let me show you how. Okay, so one of the other main advantages of a slide rack is as you can see, it sits on the bottom board. The brood box sits on top. We talked about the slats. We talked about that front area. The other thing that you see with a slatted rack is it gives a place for the foragers to hang out. So there's been a theory that slatted racks mitigate some swarming behavior. And if you understand what causes swarming, it's really the density of the bees and the colony in the space that they're in. And the reason why that is, is because if the bees feel that they don't have enough room to expand, if the queen feels like that her pheromones are not actually getting transmitted evenly through the hive, there could be some tendency to say, we're too packed within this hive, we need to find a new home, and thus split. It's a natural process that happens with bees, but splitting and swarming from a split is really what you know, happens when you see the, the heavy bearding on the front or when you see queen cells being built inside because the hive is too jam-packed and there's not enough room for them to expand. You can mitigate this by adding more space, uh, but you can also slow it down by giving a place for those foragers that are coming back every evening and sitting inside the brood's nest rather now with the slatted rack, they're hanging out on the slatted rack. This allows the bees to not necessarily have to beer on the front of the hive, they can hang out on the slatted rack, and they don't clog the brood's nest up. And if, by not clogging that brood's nest up, thus the pheromones for the queen saying that we are good to go, uh, we don't need to swarm. Okay, so the last benefit of a slatted rack sort of has to do with a combination of all the other two uh, benefits. It has to do with the foragers coming back, it has to do with them where they're hanging out, it has to do with the lack of you know, swarming behavior because of the space that's not being clogged up, it has to do with the queen being able to lay down lower, as well as uh, just that general nest maintenance uh, and based on the, the temperature airflow, uh, as well as the light air, the light that could, that could come through the bottom. But the last benefit that we see with our hives is that typically our hives see lower mite counts, and here's why. If you know how a bee works when they go to forage, that's where they're gonna pick the mites up. 
They're going to come back to the front entrance and they're going to hand off the actual honey that they're gathering in pollen either on, on the bottom of the entrance or on the bottom of the frames. By having the slat rack there, it creates a buffer for the bees to hand off the nectar and or pollen at the slatted rack rather than going up into the frames and thus potentially transmitting a mite that may be attached to their body. So with that, it's not a foolproof mite uh, mitigation strategy, but it's just another reason to use a slatted rack in that you can potentially have some buffering where those bees are not necessarily coming up through the brood's nest and or transmitting that honey or nectar uh, in the brood's nest, they're transmitting at below at or below the brood's nest. Uh, we've done some testing on this and we have seen in our apiary the colonies that don't use slatter racks versus the colonies that do use uh, slatter racks. There's definitely, we see a lower mite count on our colonies that do use the slatter racks. The only part that we can't confirm is that we've not used slatter racks as much with solid bottoms. So a lot of the lower mite counts could be contributed to the grooming that occurs and where the mites will fall through the, the screen bottom board um, rather than the fact that the mites aren't being transmitted via the slatter rack. So again, lots of information to digest there, but I hope we've given you some semblance and understanding of what a slatter rack is. There you have it. So you ask the question, what is a slatter rack? There's your answer. There are really four main reasons why we use slatter racks in our apiary. Uh, one is to give a buffer for that mite transmission. Two is to allow for the brood's nest to not be as clogged with the foragers because they have a place to hang out, giving it a less swarmy tendency. And then really three and four have to do with the queen and how low she can lay down on the frames because of the light uh, that's not coming through and the wind that's not coming through that screen bottom board. And then you ultimately gain the benefits of the screen bottom board when the grooming practice occurs. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of talking um, and we gave you a couple tips on why we use slatted racks here in our apiary. We sell them on our website. I'll put a link in the description or up here in the corner so you can take a look and pick yourself one up and we can ship them to you or you can pick them up here at the apiary. Um, the slatted racks are an additional component to your hive and naturally if you're a larger scale operation they may not make sense for you and we get that. Um, but in a smaller operation where you have you know, less than 10 hives maybe consider getting a slatted rack. That slatted rack could be that advantage that you get or need to keep a 100% survival rate through the winter uh, when you're trying to, one, mitigate pests, allow that brood's nest to grow uh, and be the size of the box that it's in, uh, and just give it less swarmy behavior overall because of the use of that uh, slatted rack in combination with the screen bottom board. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button down on the bottom. We love the support. We love comments. Comment below if you have uh, ever use a slatted rack and if you like them or don't like them. Uh, remember positive comments help our audience kind of gain engage their opinion. Uh, I don't mind having a, um, a conflicting comment uh, below. I'll definitely respect that your opinion as a beekeeper because everyone knows that you talk to two beekeepers or three beekeepers you're going to get six to nine different opinions, right? Um, so we're going to try to give you our perspective here at the Bohemia Apiary in Eastern Shore, Maryland where for us beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great bee, bee season. Hello? Hello? Nobody knows the trouble I'm in. Nobody knows my sorrow.